Hey there, wrestling fans. Brian Blitz here, and welcome to another exciting edition of Superstars of the Ring here at ccwrestling.biz. Breaking news, wrestling fans. It has appeared that the CCW Southern States Championship belt has been stolen. Now, we here at the CCW Studios don't know exactly where the championship belt is or where it may end up, and hopefully by the end of the show, we will be able to have a few more details as to the whereabouts of the Southern States Championship. But before we get to that, or before we get to this week's match, we are going to have some very encouraging words from our CCW heavyweight champion, the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon. I want to tell every one of the CCW wrestling fans just a couple things. You think you can blow me off? I'm the champ. Now you can run all these little jumbronies around here and you can talk about them, the tag team champions, the alternative champions. Nobody even knows what that belt's all about. You want to know what this company revolves around? This company revolves around this right here and beating me, which nobody's been able to do, have they? No, because I'm still walking in every arena in every town and leaving the champ every night. Now, I got something to prove. I got something to prove. I'm going to tell you what it is. I got something to prove, and it's that I'm going to be the longest running CCW champion of all time. Okay, good, good. So we still don't know. All right, we'll keep on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that uh, the uh, CCW Southern States Championship belt, who, as you know, belongs to Landon Cruz, the new breed, has been stolen out of his locker room. Once again, we don't have a whole lot of details, but the CCW officials are on the case, and they're certainly doing some investigating. And hopefully, you know, the belt will turn up. It may just be a case of being missing. Who knows? But uh, we do know that in this week's match, the CCW Southern States champion Landon Cruz will be taking on or defending the championship against Darion Drummond, a very close friend of mine. So let's go ahead and go to that match right now. Thank you, Brian, for that, and thank you for keeping us updated on that Southern States championship. We will keep an eye out for that, but this match is going to be a good one. We are very excited about this. This is for the Southern States championship. And the challenger tonight is Darion Drummond. And we have seen a new attitude from Drummond lately since he left his tag team partner Frankie literally laying in the middle of the ring. He has become more aggressive, more just outlandish. He has more of an, a ruthless attitude than we've seen. And he was already an aggressive guy, but now it's just getting more over the top. He is more serious and more focused than ever. He wants to take his CCW career seriously and take it into his own hands, and that is exactly what he's doing. Jawing at the camera right now. But that is what we can expect from Drummond. More serious, more focused. Ready right looking and pushing the referee there. Just a more focused, more mean, more aggressive. Darion Drummond than we've seen before, which could be dangerous for Landon Cruz. And his Where's Frankie? As I said earlier, he's Here he is. There he is, Landon Cruz. The new breed, Landon Cruz. You will notice he does not have that Southern States Championship with him currently because it is missing it has been stolen as Brian said earlier in the show from his locker we are investigating it the company is investigating it but we will see you see Landon hopefully not too distracted by this he is still shaking hands with the fans getting all of his fans up close giving them a shot at him to see him this is going to be a good match. I am excited about this, but hopefully Landon can put this whole belt fiasco beside him for a minute and stay focused on the task at hand, which is going to be Drummond and defending his championship. We really, we really need to see a focus landing cruise because with this new aggressive Darion Drummond, we don't know what we have in store here. The referee has already checked Drummond even though Drummond was kind of reluctant to let him. And now we'll see him go ahead and check Landon to make sure everything is all square before starting this match. You can hear a very vocal audience here. 
And the bell is ringing. We are underway here. Landon is already getting the crowd pumped and on his side. And you see them circling each other. And we are about to get started here with a collar and elbow tie up. Landon takes control early with a headlock. Just wrenching in that head. Landon is such a great technical wrestler. He really, really knows his stuff out there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful arm submission there that he's doing. Look at that. That is fantastic. He is right into a hammerlock. Beautiful. Drummond is in trouble early here. Back to a headlock. Landon is just having his way in this match right now. Beautiful headlock takeover. Landon is just in control right now. And a pin one. Oh, only a one count there. But we did get a pin. Landon is in control still though. Landon was able to get out of that pin quickly and take back control. Still wrenching that headlock. That move can, oh, Drummond with the head scissors with reversal. Now this is interesting. Drummond with the head scissors early, pounding the side of Landon, just punishing him right now. Hopefully to get some momentum going for himself in this match. Now he's talking like we know he can do. He's really putting some pressure right there on Landon. Landon pushes him off, and oh, a shoulder tackle by Drummond. Landon thought he had an opening, but I guess not. Here we go, off the ropes, and a beautiful hip toss by the new breed, Landon Cruz. Drummond's back in the ropes. The referee's going to have to separate him. Landon needs to be very careful. Landon's getting the crowd on the side. The crowd really here loves Landon. They are big new breed fans. A lot of them in this crowd. They circle each other again, it looks like. Both of them very careful. They don't know each other too well. There's a good waist lock by Landon. They don't know each other too well. They haven't worked too many matches against each other. This is fairly new territory for both of these guys. Oh, man, punishing the arm. Oh, man, just punishing the arm of Landon Cruz. Drummond showing those more aggressive, beautiful arm drag, just more aggression from Drummond just laying in, working that arm. Landon could be in some trouble here. He's doing a little bit of a nerve hold along with the arm bar. That's a nice variation. We don't see that. And a forearm. Just keeping him down. Look at this. The cockiness. Oh, my gosh. Drummond has to be careful to not let this cockiness get the best of him, though. Another hard stop. You see the cockiness of Drummond, the new cockiness of Drummond. He has to be careful not to let that. And the ref needs are yeah, There we go, count. Drummond does have a five count to let go, and you know he's going to use all of it. Going straight back to him. Oh, right on those ropes. Landon is in trouble. Drummond has taken full control of this match. And that was a cocky pin there, which isn't going to keep Landon down. Drummond needs to know better than that. Playing those games is not going to win him the Southern States Championship. Beautiful clubbing forearm in the corner. Another one, another one, another one. This ref is kind of giving him some leeway to go. Beautiful clothesline. What a flatliner there. This could be it. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, I thought we had a new Southern States champion. That was as close as you get. And a kick of disrespect there. Just two disrespectful kicks to Landon. More forearms. And Landon with the reversal. Can he take advantage? Beautiful clothesline in the corner. And a snapmare there. He's got Drummond reeling. Beautiful move by Landon. Landon is getting his momentum back, it looks like. 
trying to get the crowd back on his side, trying to get them to give him their energy. He needs it right now. He Oh, and a vicious club to the back right when he had something going. Beautiful drop kick by Drummond. Drummond is focused right now. He wants the Southern States Championship. One, two, three. Oh, that was two. Again, Landon somehow stays alive. Somehow kicked out of that. That was two and three quarters. That's as close as you can get. Landon moves out of the way. Beautiful power slam by the new breed. One, two, oh, man, this match is so close. Either one of these guys could have put him away. Both of these guys working their tails off to try to keep or become the Southern States champion. You see a nice reversal by Drummond there. Beautiful clothesline, that was a hard, stiff clothesline. Landon is feeling that, and here comes more of that cockiness and a stomp to the ear. Landon has really, really been just kind of brutalized a little bit in this match. He's been he's been worked through the ring. You could tell that his mind may be in other places at some points, but hopefully he can get back on track and not be distracted. Here's another pin. One, two. That was two. Another close fall for Drummond. He cannot put Landon away. What is Drummond going to have to do to put Landon away? He's done almost everything you think he can. Here comes another. Crossbody, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, another two count. Neither one of these guys can seem to put the other away. Landon needs to be careful here. He is, Landon's taking a little bit of time talking to the ref, getting the crowd fired up. He needs to be careful and focus on Drummond. Landon going up top, we've seen this move several times from him. We know this could be the beginning of the end for Drummond if he gets this. Walking the ropes, very athletic. And a beautiful arm drag from Landon. This could be it. It looks like it is. He is setting up for. It's going to be the cruise. Could, wait a second. Who's that? That's Toxic. Oh, my God, with the kendo stick. Ring the bell. That's the match. Toxic interrupting the match with the kendo stick. Clearly. Oh, my God. Clearly, he has some unfinished business with Landon here. Oh my, we need to get some help out here. This is ridiculous. Drummond's gonna try to, oh my God, a one for Drummond too. Oh, and another. Toxic has just ruined what was a great match. Maybe he knows where that Southern States Championship is. Toxic. Always carrying that kendo stick with him. Wherever he goes, he's ready. And you can tell he has some unfinished business with Landon. And I think Drummond just got him as well. You can see Landon reeling from those kendo stick attacks. Drummond also injured. Drummond is up though, so hopefully he'll be okay. We need to get someone out here to check on these guys. This was... That's a really sad ending for what was a great match. We had a great match going. It could have gone either way, and Toxic comes out and ruins it. You see Drummond able to walk on his own to the back, and so is Landon. It looks like everybody's okay. What a disappointing ending. Very disappointing ending to this beautiful match. You see Landon is able to walk himself to the back. Waving to the crowd one more time. Right, wrestling fans, just a reminder before and that'll do it for us down show, here. We're going to send you to the back for an update. Despite the outcome of that match, uh, as you see, it did end in a no contest. Toxic came in and basically he cleaned house with a kendo stick. I got to wonder, as being the former CCW Southern State Champion, does he have something to do with a missing belt? I mean, 
On last week's show, he said himself one way or another, he was going to get the belt back. That's not making him the champion. You know, if that's the case, if he is the culprit and he's taking the Southern States Championship belt, he needs to understand that Landon Cruz is still the CCW Southern States Champion. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I got to wonder, is, uh, is this some sort of a ruse that he can kind of hold over Landon Cruz's head? I'm not too sure, but I got to tell you, Mr. Cruz isn't none too happy about the situation himself, and he definitely had these words. CCW, I am sick and tired of what just happened tonight. Here in Lake City, Florida, going to be a great night for Continental Championship Wrestling. I had a match against Darion Drummond for the Southern States Championship. I leave my locker for five minutes and have it stolen from me. There's only one man that would steal this from me. Only one man in this entire company that would take the Southern States Championship from me. Toxic, I know it's you. I gave you the opportunity week in and week out to sign the dotted line to have a match. But you decide to take the cheap way out and steal it from me. Toxic, I know you have that belt and I'm not gonna stop until I get it back from you. I have to be perfectly honest with you. I don't blame Landon Cruz for being upset. He is certainly fired up and he has every right in the world to be because like I said, he is still the champion regardless of you know where the belt is. It doesn't matter. And um, hopefully pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting a little bit of word from Eric Snook right now. Apparently he's got some words from him and the board of directors. So we're going to go ahead and hear from him right now. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Eric Snook here with some breaking news in CCW. This past weekend in Lake City, uh, the Southern States Championship belt was stolen out of the locker room. Of course, our Southern States champion is the new breed landing crews there's a lot of speculation about who might have taken it of course we do have security uh in the backstage area and we're not really completely sure how the belt would be stolen we are investigating right now uh, so far we have very few details to offer you but we are going to hopefully be able to get to the bottom of this very soon and find out who may have taken that title belt of course we know about the feud with Toxic, the former Southern States champion, and he's been throwing out a lot of threats lately, but that's just speculation on my part. Uh, not really sure what is transpiring here, but we do know, we can confirm, that the Southern States championship belt was stolen out of the locker room uh, this past weekend in Lake City. Uh, like I said, hopefully we're going to have some more details for you guys uh, soon, but for right now, that's all we have, so thanks for tuning in here, and take it back to you, Brian. Thanks, Snook. I know you guys are on the case, and I know certainly you are going to come up with some answers in the near future. So, you know, we'll hopefully we'll have something to bring to the folks here at CCW.biz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that we have a missing championship belt, an angry CCW champion, and lots of other things going on in CCW right now, I do want to remind you that in the very near future, we are also going to have some information concerning Stampede 2019, and it is rolling right around the corner real, real, real soon. So, of course, you're going to want to follow us on Facebook, follow us on our YouTube channel, follow us as you are right now here at ccwrestling.biz. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Blitz, and I will see you at ringside.